We seek to help organizations and individuals provide clean water to those who need it most. We do this by providing the most cost-effective, efficient, and sustainable solution to the age-old, systemic, yet resolvable problem of access to clean and reliable water. We provide access to water for the benefit of all mankind through distribution of our technology, education, training, and ongoing support. We can make a difference. Change the world, providing clean water for all. I, I became aware that there was a water shortage in Africa. They said they were going to solve the problem in 10 years, and that was in 1970. And of course, the problem is worse today. I knew that problem existed. I knew that I had a way of drilling inexpensive reverse flow wells of large diameter. And I lived with that for a long time. Water dependency and usage. An estimated 801,000 children younger than five years of age perish from diarrhea each year, mostly in developing countries. This amounts to 11% of the 7.6 million deaths of children under the age of five and means that about 2,200 children are dying every day as a result of diarrhea diseases. Unsafe drinking water, inadequate availability of water for hygiene, and lack of access to sanitation together contribute to about 88% of deaths from diarrhea diseases. Water sanitation and hygiene has the potential to prevent at least 9.1% of the global disease burden and 6.3% of all deaths. The impact of clean water technologies on public health in the United States is estimated to have had a rate of return of 23 to 1 for investments in water filtration and chlorination during the first half of the 20th century. Water and sanitation interventions are cost-effective across all world regions. These interventions were demonstrated to produce economic benefits ranging from 5 US dollars to 46 US dollars per every $1 invested. Improved water sources reduce diarrhea morbidity by 21%. Improved sanitation reduces diarrhea morbidity by 37.5%. And the simple act of washing hands at critical times can reduce the number of diarrhea cases by as much as 35%. Improvement of drinking water quality, such as point of use disinfection, would lead to a 45% reduction of diarrhea episodes. Agricultural water usage and productivity. More than 60% of the world's agricultural production is entirely dependent on rainfall. Agricultural water grows, produces, and sustains livestock, which is the main part of diet in much of the developing world. The production results of these efforts are the primary means of survival in much of the world. In most of Africa, India, and Southeast Asia, 80% to 90% of all agricultural production is rainfall dependent. In semi-arid regions, rainfall is one of the primary factors affecting soil erosion and crop production under rain-fed agriculture. Rainfall variability affects the production of traditional crops increases crop diseases incidence, and causes drastic reductions. Agricultural water is used to grow fresh produce and sustain livestock. The use of agricultural water makes it possible to grow fruits and vegetables and raise livestock, which is a main part of our healthy diet. When agricultural water is used effectively and safely, production and crop yield are positively affected. On average, irrigated crop yields are 2.3 times higher than those from rain-fed ground. These numbers demonstrate that irrigated agriculture will continue to play an important role as a significant contributor to the world's 
food supply. Average Indian production of pulses, 803 kilograms per hectare, with irrigation production would increase to 1,847 kilograms per hectare. At 110 rupees per kilogram, this could result in a revenue increase of 114,840 rupees per hectare. If we are to take the average daily wage, 219.49 rupees, and add 114,840 rupees a hectare to it, the impact is bound to be significant, if not staggering. In Sub-Sahara Africa, 40% of the population still live below the international poverty line of $1.90 per day. More than half of the labor force work in agriculture and labor productivity. Most of the region's poorest people are farmers. The majority, 82% of those in extreme poverty, live in rural areas. And more than three quarters, 76% of working adults in extreme poverty are employed in agriculture. The slow agricultural development in many African countries is due to a variety of factors, including poor access to capital and resources, insufficient government support, inadequate road infrastructure for accessing markets, and export limitations imposed by the European Union's agricultural policy. Another major challenge is a significantly low crop yield. How do crop yields affect land use? For food production. Improvements in yield means that they could grow better quality and more food. Because Africa did not increase yields, growth in food production was achieved by increasing agricultural land usage. While yield improvements are very low, the land use more than doubled from 48 to 112 million hectares since 1980. What would happen if Africa does not improve its agricultural productivity? Progress on poverty will continue to be slow. Much of its population will continue working in agriculture with very little to earn. But it doesn't have to be that way. Things can change. Water. Water is the most important factor in agricultural production, which highly impacts the quality and quantity of yield. On average, irrigated agriculture is at least twice as productive per unit of land as rain-fed agriculture. Irrigation increases yields not only through reduction or prevention of crop water stress, but also through complementary benefits of combined use of irrigation with high-yielding indigenous varieties, natural fertilizers, and pesticides, restorative revolutionary technologies. Yields for cereals produced with irrigation exceeded rain-fed yields by 115% in developing countries collectively and by 150% in Sub-Sahara Africa and West Asia in 1995. Irrigated agriculture is thereby forecast to contribute significantly to increased future food production through both high and increasing crop yields. It may seem strange to consider crop yields as one of the world's most pressing issues, but the implications of failing to increase yields and labor productivity are significant. If this problem is not addressed, national poverty and economic advancement will suffer greatly. To escape poverty, agricultural productivity must improve. In order to build a food system that works for people, the land and the nations, humanity needs to achieve higher productivity. Help achieve this goal by providing access to clean and safe water to all, one well at a time. God giving water, life giving water. With one million wells and its partners, we can alleviate hardships in the lives of our brothers and sisters in need. Join us in our cause. Contact One Million Wells for more information.